Well, good afternoon, everybody. It is uh, terrific to have you along for our live coverage of this uh, eagerly awaited contest. It should provide some terrific entertainment on uh, what is turning into a rather imperfect afternoon. The weathermen really get it wrong, and uh, they have warned us that there is rain on its way. Shouldn't be bad enough in any sense meaningfully to impact on the game of football, but it is a factor to be taken into consideration. Plenty of other factors, of course, principally each side's concern for the strengths of the other. Certainly this is a very, very impressive venue, quite a sight to behold. This is the lineup we've been given. How do you read it, Jim? I think it gets a, a terrible raw deal these days. It's deemed old-fashioned, outdated, but in truth, with the, the right personnel, it works just as well as, as any other system or formation. Success can still be had with it, and teams are still winning big trophies with exactly this setup. So it's away we go then. Hoists it forward, great strength, too strong for his opponent. Done very well to intervene. Gets away from his opponent. Deep cross. Well, we don't even need to look at the stats, do we, Peter? Zero attempts, zero goals, and uh, excitement, forget it. Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. And it's played forward. Played towards the front then. Plays it long. And the assistant referee rightly gives him offside. it upfield yet another to add to football's endless list of could haves and should haves uh, that was just poor decision making and a weak execution tries to get it forward quickly pinged forward has he found his man Forward it goes. Drives it towards the front. And the half-time whistle goes. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. So your views on the first half. Well, this has proved a very frustrating day so far, especially for the strikers. Nothing has been created for them. I think the service has been extremely poor. No goals at this stage, but certainly not devoid of action. It is nil-nil here at half-time. So we're just settling back into this second half. Nil-nil then, and we're back on the way. That's nice.
Could be thinking about a shot here. Real chance! No mistake! A high-quality goal, lovely first touch, sumptuous second. Livorno break the deadlock. Well, listen, a few words of advice and encouragement from the manager during the break can often straighten things out, and it's paid off here. Big chance! Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. Oh, that's a sparkling save, absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra-sharp. It's a keeper's nightmare, Peter. He just couldn't pick up on it until it was way too late, having so many bodies in front of him. We've all known have a couple of goals without reply, it's 2-0. Well, unsurprisingly, Peter, the opposition looked completely stunned. I'm not sure they can gather themselves. Forward it goes. And that is as far as they're going to go. Just starting to get the first signs of rain here. Cuts it out. Balls out on the left, now. Well read, he sorted that out. Tries to get it forward quickly. Plays it out to the wing. Good run down the left, what can they make of it? Gets up to head it! Oh, it looked like 3-0 for sure. He'll be fuming with himself for not converting, he could have killed it off. Just five minutes left. Ball's loose, who's getting there? He's going to have to tune his rangefinder before the next one. Official showing that there will be three minutes of added time. Hoists it forward. There goes the final whistle. We've all known away with the win. A job really well done in all departments, sir. Real some of the parts team effort. The final thoughts, Jim? What I most admire about this outfit is the cohesion and the willingness to work hard as a unit for getting behind the ball. Doing the ugly stuff, that's what gets you clean sheets and wins.